So I'm already starting to get some of my tackle prepped for next year. I like to go through every one of my boxes and just go through uh, everything, you know, the hooks. Uh, so if it's a crankbait box, I go through all the, the hooks, make sure the hooks are good. I look at the split rings. Uh, if there's rust, I clean off the rust. I like just to make sure that everything is in good shape starting the uh, next season. And I was recently going through a, a box that I keep all my treble hooks in and I was restocking it. Uh, in this case, you know, I've got it full now, but what I realized is I only had three of these treble hooks with some flashaboo on them. Uh, I'm a huge fan of putting flashaboo on treble hooks for topwater baits or, you know, even in some circumstances on like a crankbait. Uh, I know a lot of people really like the feathered trebles. Uh, I think they work great too. I just like the flashaboo because I think it's really natural and I think it resembles a bluegill tail much better than a feather does. Uh, but having said that, I still tie some feathered treble hooks. And uh, what I've been doing today is tying up some treble hooks to make sure I have enough for next year. And I just figured I'd go through it and kind of show you what uh, or how to do it. It's a really simple process. Uh, all you need in this case uh, is a fly tying vise, uh, a bobbin to hold your thread, some thread, some glue, and then whatever the material is that you're after. Uh, you know, I like to use the flashaboo. This is just the straight flashaboo stuff, but you can get like flashaboo uh, accent type threads as well. Uh, you know, this is like, this is flashaboo accent. Uh, it's much more of a coarse material. It kind of feels like a heavy thread. It holds up really, really well. Uh, you know, I'll use in this case, like this is a, a, a saddle patch, uh, you know, small hen feathers. I've got some, uh, this is an ostrich feather. Uh, you know, and you can take these little, little pieces off. They work really well. Um, peacock feathers work great. Really any sort of feather that you can use. I like to have something that's very limber so that it moves freely in the water. And one other thing I want to point out is the thread. You know, I, you can use whatever color threads you want. I like to use either black, red, or a chartreuse color. Uh, you know, it's a simple thing you can do to add a little bit of color to your bait that creates a, a strike zone. You know, I'm a, a huge proponent of chartreuse on baits, especially if you're fishing smallmouth or spotted bass. And in this case, you know, a little bit of chartreuse thread around the treble hook. I don't think it hurts. I think that gives them a good place to strike. So, so in this case, you take the treble hook you want to tie, you clamp it into the vise, and then at that point, you grab some of the material that you want. Uh, so we'll do some flashaboo in this case, a chartreuse type flashaboo. And you'll clean this up really well. So it doesn't, it doesn't need to be, uh, you know, perfect strands at this point. The other thing I want to point out too, I've got a, I've got an old box here and the box really is, just, I use this to, to catch all the random pieces of material. Uh, in this case, anytime you're tying any of the, any of the feathers or, um, marabou, I mean, any of this stuff, you get little strands that go all over. And I just find that if I have this box, it just really keeps everything, uh, just grouped up and easily just makes it easier cleanup wise. So what I, ju I just did there is I, I cut a chunk of the flashaboo off and what you want to do is thread it through the eye of the treble hook. And in this case, to make that easy, I literally just wet the tip of the flashaboo a little bit and you can thread it through the eye of the treble hook pretty well. And you may not get it all through and that's fine. So then you pull it through. And then you just want to fold it down. Grab your your vise 
And I'll just wrap it a bunch of times to start to get it down before tying any sort of knots. Oops, hit the camera. At that point, you've got a pretty good hold on it. With your material started, I will make a knot in it quick. Just to kind of secure that back tag end. Just a couple of overhand knots work great. Now the, the thread here is definitely the material that's holding it in place, but it's really not that important because we're going to use a little bit of super glue and nail polish at the end. And I'll just cut that tag off. And in this case, I want to add a little other material. Maybe we'll put some of this pink in. This almost has like a fiber optic look to it. It's pretty cool stuff. And I don't want to make it overwhelming, so I'm not going to take a ton of it, but. Bunch of strands. Cut off a good chunk. Feed that through. Hold it down. And just wrap again. And again, we can clean all this up pretty good. I like just to make sure I've got a good uh, single layer. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. And then at this point, I'll do a couple of overhand knots. Pull that tight. That just broke off, but it's going to hold fine. And I've got a couple extra strands there. I probably can pull those out. I'll just cut them off. And then take a little drop of super glue. You don't need much again. really like to do just kind of one drop like that let that dry and then I'll go over it just with a clear coat of nail polish uh, that seems to really seal it up nicely and give it more of that finished look than the super glue which can kind of dry crusty um, but we can take this out of the vise and then I'll just take my scissors trim it up to the to the length that I want Make it a little bit irregular, and you've got a feathered treble hook at that point. Uh, uh, pretty simple, nothing special. You can experiment with all different colors, different threads, and come up with uh, something a little bit more unique than just the white feather with, with some red thread on it. Uh, I personally think you get a lot more bites using some different materials, but that's just me. You know, I hope this, this tip lets you go out and build some of your own feathered treble hooks, save you a few extra bucks. It's really pretty simple and gives you something to do during the winter when you're not fishing. I hope this tip helped.